my lips are dry. Hola familia, welcome. My name is Maria and if you're new here, bienvenidos. Today we're going to be talking about duendes. If that's something you're interested in, then grab your snacks, grab your drink, and let's get on to this video. Duendes are also known as gnomes and they're earth-like creatures that are usually found in nature and very green, earthy nature vibes you know <laughs> they're very common in latin america they're common in mexico and they're known to be tricksters they're known to be pranksters they hide your stuff they misplace your things they like to braid hair it's very common for people that own horses to wake up the next day and to find their horse's hair to be braided estamos revisando la, la yegua y aquí encontramos un nudo hecho por el duende para que el duende pueda meter la patica aquí y cabalgar por la noche como pueden ver esto es un, una trenza de tres hilos pero no la desata nadie, eso hay que cortarlo para poderlo desamarrar there's even a museum for duendes in Hidalgo, México as you can see right here they show different examples of what duende braids look like also in the Hidalgo Museum there's a lot of statues of duendes and it's believed that if you buy these statues you can perform an activation ritual there's different ways to doing this while i was doing my research the most common one that i saw is that it always involved a full moon you buy this statue and every statue has a purpose and there's purpose to find love to have health to have wealth and basically to accomplish different things it's said that you do have to offer the duendes gifts you have to offer them candy because if you are asking for favors from them you have to also give them offerings and if you're not making them happy they will make your life miserable <laughs> There's also a guy named Don Gavino, and Don Gavino was a skeptic. So Don Gavino was walking down La Plaza in La Ciudad de Mexico when a street vendor approached him, and this lady was actually selling duende statues. He declined, and he was like, "No, I actually don't believe in those things." So the lady was talking to him and like explaining how they work, and she ended up convincing him. Pues me estuvo insistiendo tanto que después de unos días, 15 minutos de plática con ella, me convenció y le compré el primer duende, el el del dinero. Chose a gnome and he bought it. The gnome that he chose was actually el Duende del Dinero. The lady explained how this duende will bring him luck, wealth, and financial success. Me dijo, mire, este duende no es un duende cualquiera. Ese duende que se lleva le va le va a dar mucha suerte. Pero si lo trata como como se debe de tratar, cuídelo y va a ver que le va a ir bien. He kind of brushed it off and didn't really think it was real because he was a skeptic. When he got home, he just kind of threw it in a closet and forgot about it. After a while, he remembered, he found the duende again, and he decided to activate it, perform the activation ritual, how the lady explained to him. En luna llena hay que sacarlo a serenar toda la noche, y en la mañana hay que meterlo, para que no le den directamente los rayos del sol. Le debe de dar su copita de vino tinto, cuatro o cinco días llenarle la copa. Y ponerle también semillas de girasol. He does say that shortly after he activated the duende, anything that he would get into financially, he would get really lucky and he would start to build a lot of wealth. So he would pay this to the duende. Y todo lo que he emprendido, todo me se me empezó a multiplicar. After years and years, he was getting so lucky financially and he built so much wealth enough to call himself a millionaire. So through the years, he bought more duendes and actually started believing more in the duendes and he even bought a house for his duendes. Y entonces, por, por haberme dado tanta suerte, esta casa que ya estaba por caerse, completamente destruida, la compré para ellos to pay tribute to his duendes and everything that they have done for him. So this house is still up in Mexico and it's actually called La Casa de los Duendes. Don Hidalgo actually started selling duendes because he wanted other people to build wealth and to experience all the good things that the duendes did for him. Tengo duendes también que vendo. Así como yo compré, quiero que otros también les vaya mejor. The second story I want to talk about 
is actually about a girl that visited the museum of the duendes this girl bought for the duendes statue she built a little altar for her duendes with candy coins after she did the altar and all of that for the duendes she started seeing a lot of her things being misplaced and a lot of things going missing so she thought it was the duendes so she would kindly ask the duendes if they could bring back her stuff and seconds after she would kindly ask her things would reappear one day her mom went missing her mom had dementia of course this is very scary and the mom just wandered off she went missing and the family spent hours looking for her and after not being able to find her the girl se le ocurrió pedirle a los duendes to please help her bring her mom back of course a few minutes after she asked the duendes her mom reappeared and a way for her to say thank you to the duendes she gave the duendes a $50 bill. She placed the $50 bill in the altar. A few weeks after, she does admit to changing the $50 bill to a $20 bill and not giving the duendes any more offerings, such as candy coins and things like that. She also caught her mom eating the duendes candy. So after this, she says that things started getting scary and that at night, they would hear little footsteps running around and they would hear things getting knocked over and that her sister would wake up with bruises all over her when she would wake up she would feel a weight on her shoulders that she just couldn't shake off after all of these things kept happening she did get very scared and just wanted nothing to do with the duendes and wanted to find how to get rid of them she went to a professional and the professional told her that duendes can shapeshift and become invisible and that was the weight that she was feeling on her shoulders to get rid of them she had to go to a church with double doors and go in through one door and tell the duendes that she will be back for them and go in through the other door and that way the duendes don't come back to your house and she said she did that and got rid of the duendes it helped and things got better but she does say that you need to do your research with duendes and you need to make sure that you know what you're doing okay so now i'm gonna be showing you guys videos of duendes caught on camera most of these videos are in spanish because like i said it it is more common for duendes to be caught in mexico A lot of people do say that duendes are very territorial so if they live in your house it's not your house anymore sign the papers over it's their house it's just so creepy because you can clearly see it just walking around minding its business all right, this following video I'm gonna show you. It's somebody, it's two kids in their home and they're just talking about soccer, and they're talking about playing in a game, and they're just kind of kicking the ball back and forth to each other. And somebody else is recording. And out of nowhere, this little figure, this thing just appears with a cape. And these kids turn around and see it and they just freak out, start screaming and try to follow it. And it's just gone. Take a look. It's so creepy. It's so creepy because literally there is a wall there and they're recording and they point it there and it doesn't really look like CGI like they could have edited this. It just looks like it was filmed in a potato and it just appears out of nowhere. I think that's the freakiest part that it just appears out of nowhere and their reaction how he just falls to the floor and starts screaming. I think that would be my same reaction. Okay, now this final video i'm gonna show you is this mom that she's just recording her little baby being cute on the floor out of nowhere dobie comes out and just runs across and she kind of freaks out and just take a look
these videos were filmed in potatoes like they're filmed in a microwave and you just see these little figures clear as day it's not like a smudge or a shadow like you can clearly see them walking across and i think it's just the creepiest thing okay guys that is it for today's video i hope you guys really enjoyed it if you enjoyed this video and if you want me to keep doing these kinds of spooky paranormal urban legend kind of videos just hit the like button and that will let me know okay thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye